So I decided to design some really cool PC desk lights to go either side of the monitor. But you don't actually have to have them there because they're really good at lighting up, say, the wall behind your monitor. Now, all the files you're going to need, so the STL files for the 3D printed parts, and then, of course, the Gerber files for the PCB. If you decide to use a custom PCB, you can use just an LED light strip as well. But anyway, all that is going to be in the description of this video, so you can make a set yourself. So without further delay, let's kick off by having a look at how I designed these in Fusion 360. Now the design is nice and simple and I took inspiration from YouTube's play button. So it's this cool triangle shape. That was the cover for the bottom. It takes three M3 screws to screw it together to the main base itself. And then you can see we've got the main part where the RGB LEDs live and then this diffusion layer. Nice and simple and it's also easy to put together. So before we have a look at all those parts that are 3D printed and of course the non 3D printed parts you're going to need, here's a quick message from today's sponsor JLC PCB. Now if you've ever had a design or an idea and you don't know how to bring it to life, that's where JLC PCB has you covered. With their state of the art facility, they offer fast, reliable service at really competitive prices. Now, of course, they don't just do PCBs. They'll also 3D print your STL files. But today we're concentrating on getting some Gerber files added. As you can see, just drag and drop them in. And this is where you can set all your options and customize your order. So you can put how many you want, how thick you want the PCB to be and what color you want the PCB as well. It's a really easy service to navigate and use. So if you want to bring your ideas to life, click the links in the description below to find out more information and the latest offers. So again, massive thank you for JLC PCB for sponsoring this video. They've been so helpful with all the 3D printed parts and PCBs that they've been providing me. Right, talking about 3D printed parts, let's have a look at the parts list to make one of these RGB desk lamps. So first of all, we'll just get all the 3D printed parts that are needed to make this. So we have the base itself and that's where the ESP32 will go inside. This is just for the bottom to cover it up and that has three M3 screws in it. This is the main part that the RGB LEDs will go in. And of course, this will be glued onto here. I did look at other ways of doing it, but gluing it just seemed to be the best way. So that'll have to get glued onto there. And then this is the diffusion strip. Now, if you remember, this is some really cheap Eason PLA because it lets a lot of light through. So it's perfect for diffusing the LED light. Here we have a ESP32 and then that really cool PCB with all the RGB LEDs on it from JLC PCB. Now, of course, we're not going to go over the setup of WLED or the solder inside. If you want to see a guide on that, click up here. I've done a dedicated video on it. It's really helpful and it basically goes through everything you need to know. Now, one video that we haven't done yet is where we take a blank PCB and then solder the components on and my preferred method is not using a heat plate it's actually using a heat gun so if that's something that you would like to see drop a comment below asking to see the soldering video because it might be useful if people want to buy just the pcbs without the leds and then put them on themselves as a cost saving measure so I guess the next thing we should do is get these put together and have a look just to see how they perform. And to be honest with you, I have bought a set from Amazon in the past. They unfortunately didn't connect to Wi-Fi. You just had one of those generic remotes. Now, I find the ones that I made, even though slightly smaller, 
they do perform a lot better and basically being able to control them with your phone is awesome. Now also let me know in the comments below, do you think I should make one twice as tall? So for people that do want to have them behind their monitor, facing the wall, but they want it to light up a lot brighter and a lot more area, let me know if we should make the RGB desk light XL version. Now, of course, you will need some wire and then maybe a sacrificial USB cable to power the ESP32 itself. So basically, the ESP32 goes in here and there's a wire on the back so that USB cable can come through. So assembly is pretty easy. Now, if you're using a PCB, it perfectly slides down here now if you are using rgb light strips the likes you get off amazon they also fit down there as well just don't take the sticky back off them that light diffuser that will just slide it's really flexible as well because it's quite thin so that will just slide all the way to the top and it does an absolute amazing job i can't believe how well it actually diffuses the light then this is basically going to stick on here. So what we're going to do is we'll fast forward until I've got the ESP32 in there and everything wired up. So I have left the bottom off so you can actually see the ESP32 is in there. And then we have the two wires for positive and negative, and that goes to the USB. And then there's three other wires go into that RGB strip. Of course, positive, negative, and then the data line. Again, if you do want to know how to set up ESP32s with WLED, click the link in the description or at the top right of this screen. So we're ready to put the base cap on. And as I said, we're going to use three M3 screws. And I recommend buying a kit with loads of different lengths because a lot of the projects that I'll be doing are going to be using this kit. And I'll put a link to the kit in the description below. Now, as regards to the screws we use in this project, they're M3 star six, which basically means they're M3 and they're six millimeters in length. Now, of course, we'll fast forward this bit because we don't need to watch me putting these screws in here. But three screws, they go nice and flush, and there we go, it's all done. So let's plug it in. Yep, we've got the left one on and the right one. So there's only one thing left to do. Let's see them in action. So in summary, I made these really cool RGB desk lights and I really hope that some of you guys decide to make some yourself because all the links are in the description below. The STL files are on Maker World and of course you can leave a comment. It's really easy if you've got a Bamboo Lab printer as well. Now the Gerber files will be just a Google Drive link in the description because you can't put those on Maker World. And there'll also be a list below of all the parts you're gonna need, including, of course, that ESP32, and then some USB wire, etc. But it's a really easy soldering job. So if you've never soldered before, this would be a really good way to start. So I guess that wraps up this video. But as always, if you do enjoy my content and you want to see more 3D printed projects like this one, go check out one of the other videos that I've done, maybe on the RGB speaker stands. They're really cool. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and then hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. I'm JP, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.